Okay, now what we are going to see uh, why this is happening. As we can see, we have a text view that is right uh, in like in the middle of the screen, but it lacks a constraint. But we are using a constraint layout, as we can see here. So uh, there will be a problem that is that the component jumps to the top of the screen, as we can see here when we compile. But how can we know that if we, for example, don't know uh, these basic things of Android? We can just search in the IDE uh, the issue panel or just an icon like this one and see what are the errors. This is a warning, but this is an error. And as we can see, it shows some information and it says this view is not constrained vertically. At runtime, it will jump to the top unless you add a vertical constraint. So we will try adding a vertical constraint. And of course, we are moving it where it was, but with that constraint. Now we can compile and just wait to see if the problem is solved. As we can see, it compiled and the problem is solved. So. Um, there are a couple of conclusions for this video. The first one is that when we are using a constraint layout, we have uh, we must have for each component at least two constraints, uh, one horizontal and one vertical constraint, in order to keep the component in its place and avoid it to jump to one side or the top or the left of the screen, for example. And the other conclusion, uh, the main topic of the video, is that we can see errors uh, to solve that errors or warnings in the IDE, especially uh, in this Android Studio that is based on IntelliJ that recognizes some of the problems or errors that we can avoid just by clicking on an icon or that kind of things or maybe uh, a panel shows up in when we are creating an error for example. So that's a very important skill uh, in an Android developer, that it would be um, to debug not only the application or the code, but also the uh, things on the ID. In this case, it is related to something specifically to the code and to Android that are the constraints of a constraint layout. But with the help of the ID, we can solve it. So it is important to uh, see the warnings and read the warnings uh, of the IDE to improve our code and avoid errors.